100 million dollars. That's the estimated price tag for the Kentucky race between Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell, his Republican primary challenger Matt Bevin, and Democrat Allison Lundergan Grimes. Now that would make the Kentucky race the most expensive Senate contest ever. Let's take first a look at how that stacks up historically, and then how you could possibly spend a hundred million dollars in the state of Kentucky. The most expensive race yet. $82 million, Scott Brown versus Elizabeth Warren in Massachusetts. In 2012. So, in 2012. Right. The second most expensive race ever, 2000. So Hillary Clinton, Rick Lazio. Hillary uh, raised 40 million, Lazio 30 million. They got to 70 million. So this race is expensive, particularly when you look at the media markets. Now, with Hillary Clinton, it kind of, it makes sense. And, and Rick Lazio, New York is the number one media market in the country. Right. Most so expensive millions to run out. Totally. Ads. When you get to Kentucky, you have three media markets that are probably going to matter the most. You have Cincinnati, which you can see Kentucky. The airport in Cincinnati is actually right. in Kentucky. It's in Ohio, so, but the media market covers northern Kentucky. Precisely. Right. Yeah. And then you have uh, Louisville at 48 and Lexington at number 64. Right. So you can get a lot for your money in Kentucky. Let's just break it down very quickly. Okay. So McConnell raised $21 million when he ran in 2008. Okay, it was a competitive race, but he's going to raise more now. Uh, people I talked to, he's already raised almost $14 million. He has $9.5 million left in the bank still to spend. They say he's going to get to 30 or $35 million. Okay, so let's put him away. Allison Lundergan Grimes never raised anywhere near this amount of money. The Democratic candidate has no experience in it. But she's running against Mitch McConnell, which is a great fundraising tool for national Democrats. Uh, people I talked to there, 25, 30 million. So let's say 30 million for McConnell, 30 million for Lundergan okay. Grimes. In the middle. That's 60. Okay. Now, add in the two national party committees who are the, the Republican National Senatorial Committee. They're going to spend whatever amount of money it takes. Mitch McConnell right. basically built that committee. So they'll be spending whatever it needs. His top aide works at the committee. Let's say 10 million. The Democratic Senatorial Committee, they don't have a lot of time to play offense. They got a lot of sort of bad races out there for them. This is a place to play offense. And if they beat McConnell, it's like beating four other Republican senators. Let's say 10 million for them. They're going to have the money. Now we're up to 80. So all you then need is yeah. can super PACs <laughs> you spend think, I mean, 20 million? The one thing I say is Kentuckians for strong leadership love it. It's a pro McConnell super PAC. Right. It's already raised over a million dollars in its August of the off year. So I think we get close to it, certainly above 80. I think we get close to 100 million, and I think they break the 82 million. I say either Scott way, they're breaking that record. Yeah, it's going to be the most expensive either way. Why does this matter? So right. money, <laughs> money doesn't guarantee victory, as we've seen, but these days it's nearly impossible to run if you don't have the funding. We're going to keep our eyes on the Bluegrass State, see just how much money ends up being spent there in the next 15 months.